welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela, your independent Sensi consultant. Today I have for you my empties. So these are my empties from about middle of October to middle of November. There's not a whole lot because I do switch out my scents a lot. I don't go through like a whole bar at once. So there's a few bars, but not a ton. And so that's kind of why it's like a almost a month's worth but I have like pieces of bars missing. So um, also I've been going through some bricks over here. So that has also contributed to not going through as many bars. So let's just get started. Um, I feel like I've been talking a lot today. I've done a lot of filming. You'll probably see I'm in the same outfit as I've been in for like five videos because I try to film like bulk film. So I have lots of videos going at once. Um, but yeah, so the first thing that I went through is a twin pack of pods of caramel apple craze. And this is a fruity scent. It is described as creamy golden caramel, sweet red delicious apples and whipped vanilla invite you to be a trick or treater again. This is a very, very sweet scent. Um, I really like it. I don't know if everybody likes it, but I really like it. It reminds me of candied apples, like um, caramel apples. It's really good. That makes sense. It's called caramel apple craze. Anyways, the next thing, I guess I'll just go through pods first, is vanilla buttercream. I went through a set of vanilla buttercream pods. Vanilla bean buttercream. I can't even get the titles right. The name's right. Vanilla bean buttercream. I should know. I This has been one of my favorite scents for like years and years and years. I should get this one right. It is a bakery scent. It is described as decadent buttercream frosting made with the freshest butter whipped with cane sugar and vanilla extract. This is a classic. I love buttercream. I love baking. I love all the sugary smells. So that's a great one. I also went through a travel twist of vanilla bean buttercream. If it'll ever focus. There we go. So went through that as well. Those are not my favorite in the car. I prefer the pods, but I used that before and it worked for like maybe a month around there. Um, but it's not as strong as I prefer my scents. So I prefer the fan, mini fan diffuser for that. Next thing I went through is Disney Mickey and Friends. Love this scent. I went through this at school, I think. Yeah, probably at school. Uh, this is a fruity scent and it is described as celebrate everlasting friendship with a fragrance almost as sweet thanks to Georgia peach accented by pops of orange peel and vanilla. I love orange or I love orange too, but I love peach scented things. So this is one of my faves. And then I also went through a set of pods in the same scent. Um, I have the pods in my air purifier in my room and I use that at night and I love that scent so that one's a good one and then I have some older bars here so or older scents I guess they're from my club so I went through a bar of skinny dipping again went through this at school the kids love this I'm at school like for so long that like I go through bars more faster at school because it's warming all day and so I switch it out probably every two days and so I go through much faster at school. Uh, Skinny Dippin' is a retired scent and it is described as fresh green apples perfectly harmonized with refreshing melons and juicy pears. I love melon scents. This is like the best scent, fruity scent in my opinion. I have a, a brick of it over here somewhere. Um, because it is so good. It's just so good. Compliments all the time on that one. Um, every time someone walks past my room, they're saying how like great it smells in there. Um, the next one is apricot vanilla. This one is really good too. It is described as heirloom peach. Again, love peach. 
Apricot and Vanilla Ice Cream Tempt Fate and Everyone Else. Really good one. Next one is Watermelon Tangerine. This is one of my favorite scents. I've gone through several of these, but um, once I started collecting that, my empties, I had already gone through like three. So tells you how much I love this one. I have like four of them in my club because this one is so good. It is described as a sweet watermelon slices spiked with juicy tangerine and dewy greens. So good. The kids love this one too. And the last bar that I finished, this one is ancient. And when I say ancient, I mean like nine years old. This is from 2014. It is Simply Lemon. And let me tell you, you probably don't want to let your bar sit for nine years. Um, this one, when I tried to break the cubes off, there was only like, it was like half used. Um, but when I tried to break the cubes off, they were like almost pliable. Like they didn't snap like a regular bar would. I had to like bend it back and forth and back and forth and then kind of like pull it apart. It's very interesting, but it still had some scent to it. So, um, finished it off because didn't want to waste it, but this is ancient. I can't find scent notes on it. It's simply vanilla or simply vanilla, simply lemon. So I'm assuming it's just lemon scented. Um, that's all I smelled when I warmed this, but we warmed it in the kitchen and just trying to get rid of it as fast as possible because we have newer scents that smell stronger than this. Um, but again, didn't want to waste it. We still have uh, several bars that are older like from nine years ago. So don't know why we didn't warm them, but they're still around and they still have scent to them. They're just really not that strong. So just trying to get through those as fast as possible. But that is all for my empties for the last month. I'm gonna try to do empties every two weeks, I think. Um hopefully depending on how many empties I have sometimes like if I'm like using the bricks I'm not melting as much of bars so then I don't go through the whole bars and I I change my scents out so frequently that I'm like I don't I don't go through a whole bar I use like two to four cubes every you know I have so many scents that it's just difficult to to get through an entire bar so We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping to do every two weeks, but it might be every month and maybe I'll start doing it at like the end of the month. Um, but we'll have to see how that goes. So if you like empties videos, please click the like button, subscribe so you can see future videos. And if you would like to shop with me, my link is down below. I appreciate you being here and have a great afternoon, day, evening, whatever it is for you. I'll see you next time. Bye.